Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords, the God of all flesh, the great I am, the I am that I am, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and of the God of Jacob. Hallelujah, precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. May the hand of the Lord and may the glory of the Lord come upon you this morning in the name of Jesus. And once again, this is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries in Boramwood, Hertfordshire, United Kingdom. The Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning and thank the Almighty God for his goodness and for his mercies over our lives. The Bible says that the steadfast love of the Lord that never ceases, his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So we thank God for his faithfulness over our lives and his steadfastness over our lives his goodness and his mercies that are renewed every morning over our lives and so we are grateful that god has given us renewed mercies and his grace is multiplied over our lives and this morning by the grace of god i believe that the word of god that has the answers to all our problems will by its power and by the hearing of the word of God will empower us, will edify us, will comfort us and will lift us up to the place of divine exhortation. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 119 verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Hallelujah. The Bible also declares that for the scriptures cannot be broken. Hallelujah. The scriptures cannot be broken. David said, God has exalted his word above his name. Hallelujah. So if the word of God, God himself has exalted his word above his name, it means that there is nothing that is higher than the word of God and than God himself. Uh, that is why this morning uh, I believe and trust God that by the hearing of the word of God, your life will be transformed and revived in the name of Jesus. And by the grace of God, I have the privilege to share with you this morning from the book of 1 Peter chapter number 2, reading from the verse number 24. 1 Peter chapter number 2, the verse number 24. Hallelujah. And I am continuing my message that I started a couple of days ago about the power of the cross of Jesus. Hallelujah. Beloved, there is power in the cross. There is power in the redemptive work that Christ did for humanity 2,000 years ago. And I came to declare to you that if you will put all your trust and if you will connect to the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, transformation will take place in your life. Healing will take place in your life. Deliverance will take place in your life. Salvation will take place in your life. And everything about your life will be transformed in the name of Jesus. So 1 Peter chapter number 2, reading from the verse number 24. Let's hear the word of the living God. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for us. I will read it again. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. Hallelujah. Madakatos kabahadaya. Le kabakatua kabadekete lebro sataya. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that who, who, 
kalama sute ibadala bosha who his own self bear our sins in his own body it means that jesus christ the sacrificial lamb of god took upon him our sins and he bear our sins in his own body on the tree it means that jesus took our sins upon himself and he shed his blood on calvary's cross on the cross of calvary the cross is where his the power of his sacrifice was made he sacrifice that he did for humanity was done at the cross of calvary on golgotha and the bible says that he himself bear our sins our iniquities, our transgressions and in his own body that we been dead to sins uh, should live unto righteousness. So that means that Jesus Christ was holy and was righteous. Uh, he was blameless. Uh, he had not done anything uh, but God through his grace uh, ah, met him as a substitute for our sins and he took upon himself our sins and our diseases and our infirmities our disappointments our lack our limitations and everything that we go through and everything that we have done that brought us far away from god he took it upon himself and the bible says that he was hung on the tree for us to be saved hallelujah and the Bible says that that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. So we who were unrighteous, we who were sinful, that we had the Adamic nature in us, he took upon himself our sins. And the Bible says that he made us become righteous before God. And we became the righteousness of God. This morning, I came to declare to you uh, everything that is causing you to be far away from God. May the power of the cross, may the sacrifice of Jesus bring you back to God in the name of Jesus. May the sacrificial work on the cross of Jesus, uh, may it bring oneness and peace together with you unto Jehovah in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that whose stripes ye were healed. It was the stripes of Jesus. It was the beatings of Jesus. It was the lashes of Jesus. It was the punishment of Jesus that took our infirmities, that took our diseases, that took our sicknesses. I pray for you and I that may the punishment of Jesus uh, settle and heal you from any sickness and disease, uh, any infirmity in your body that has become a generational sickness, that has become an ancestral curse. May the power of the stripes of Jesus and the cross of Jesus, may it deliver you uh, Deliver you from your limitations. Deliver you uh, from your depression. Deliver you uh, from your suppression. Deliver you from the afflictions of the enemy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the power of the cross uh, uh, bring you to the place of hope. May the power of the cross uh, bring you to the place of expectation. In the name of Jesus. May the power of the cross cause you uh, to enter into your promise in the mighty name of jesus the lord god bless you beloved come to the place of the knowing that jesus did all for you on the cross and the sacrificial work on the cross is powerful to deliver you and to bring you salvation and deliverance hallelujah the lord god bless you beloved Share this word, spread this word that it will be a blessing to as many people that receive it through the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you. Heavenly Father, I pray for your people this morning. I ask, O oh God, that Father, let the power of the cross 
and the evidence of the cross and the grace that is in the cross let it transform your people this morning let it bring them to the place of hope to the place of peace to the place of their promise in the name of jesus i pray for them that whatever they are going through may the power of the cross and may the shed blood of jesus uh, ah cause them uh, to be elevated uh, let you, the power of the blood of jesus speak for them for the bible declares that for the blood of jesus speak get better things let the intercession of the blood intercede for them let the power of the blood speak for them let the grace of the blood speak for them and bring them to the place uh, of divine glory in christ jesus i pray that those that are sick let them be healed those that are oppressed let them be loser uh, i pray that those who are in captivity spiritual captivity let the shed blood of jesus ah free them in the name of jesus and father those that find themselves in financial indebtedness, let the blood release them. Let the blood release them and set them free. For he who the Son of God sets free is free indeed. Father, thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus that is interceding for your people. And I pray that this morning you will liberate them and bring them to the place of hope in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord God bless you. May you have an overcoming, triumphant, victorious day. In Jesus' mighty name, God richly bless you. Amen and amen.